I bet you didn't know that we can more or less reproduce the popular task paper app directly in Sublime Text 2. It's a recent plugin at the time of this recording, which is September 2012, and it was created by this GitHub user Aziz, and it's called Plain Tasks. So let's try it out. Once again, I will copy this path, switch over to the terminal. Next, I will git clone, and I'm going to call this Plain Tasks. Great, now that's available to us. If I switch back to my editor, now to make that active, I can bring up the control palette, shift command P, and if I type task, now we have this new option, create a new document. So by itself, it doesn't seem like much, but I found this to be actually fairly helpful. So let me give you an example of some things we can do. So we will begin with a heading. We'll call it today, and as long as I end it with a colon, that's going to set it up as a block heading. If I don't add that, that won't register. So maybe things to do today. Next, if I go onto a new line, we can either type a to-do item, go to the store, and then hit Command Enter or Control Enter on Windows, and now that will create one. Alternatively, we can press Command or Control I, and that will automatically create a new one. Finish up screencast. Now we'll do a new heading for tomorrow. Command I to create a new task. Post video. Similar to task paper, we can also set tags. So I can do something like at personal. That will set up those necessary tags. This will say work. This one as well. Next, if we want to create dividers, perhaps you need a little bit more room between these two projects, you can type dash dash tab, and that will create a divider for you, like so. So what about finishing a task? Well, we can click on it, and I can hit Command D. Think D for done. If you do it again, that's going to be a toggle effect. So that uncompletes it, that sets it to done. Maybe we've also posted the video, Command or Control D. And then if we want to archive all of the ones that we finished, we can hit Shift Command A, and now that will move all of those to an archive section, and we can start again. But let me undo that by pressing Control Z, and I will toggle this once again. If we want to adjust the order, we can use the standard Sublime Text Helper, Control Command A, and that will allow me to move these up and down like so. So for example, if I realized I need to go to the store tomorrow, Control Command Down, and bring that down like so. So let's save this as this week. And now, whenever I close that, I can immediately go back to my to-dos by clicking on it, update my item, save it, and then we're done, and we're back to coding.